Greetings in the name of Jesus. I find myself thinking um, today about a lovely um, text or piece uh, from Holy Scripture from Romans um, in chapter 8, uh, verse 31, where we hear, If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? absolutely beautiful and sacred words um, that uh, that the Lord invites us to to reflect about um, at different points within our life. Um, if God is for us, who can be against us? Indeed, we serve, um, we serve an amazing God. We serve a good God. We serve an awesome God. And absolutely nothing that we face within our life's journey, absolutely nothing that we face is too much for our God, the God who loves us, the God who loves us with a love that indeed has no beginning and no end, a uh, God that loves us with a never ending love that's um, for, for all of us. Uh, to receive and uh, to feel and to experience. If God is for us, who can be against us? Such beautiful and, and sacred words. And indeed, today we are encouraged by the words uh, from Holy Scripture. Uh, we are encouraged through those words um, to remind ourselves in this journey of life that if there's anything within life's journey that is, is weighing us down, we are invited to give it to God, to just uplift it unto the Lord in faith today, to take a moment in faith to uplift it unto our Lord Jesus the Christ and to God of the Almighty. And as we do that, Indeed, as we do that, we can somehow simply watch God show us how all of that weight can be lifted, just lifted out of our lives. Believe it and trust in it. And indeed, it will be so. If God is for us, who can be against us?